there are four major assignments of prayer in the life of the believer i want you to write it and please never forget it no matter how many times you've written it write it down prayer according to scripture has four major assignments in the life of the believer number one the first assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is for growth and transformation in order of priority this is the highest assignment of prayer in a believer's life unfortunately most people have not tapped into this possibility that you gain mastery by evolving to superior levels of yourself even in the place of prayer luke chapter 9 and verse 29 the bible says and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering say prayer you can grow and you can be transformed in the place of prayer i show you a believer who does not engage in prayer consistently forget about mastery you cannot gain mastery in this kingdom if you ignore prayer and if you do not understand the assignment of prayer to your life growth and transformation jude jude 1 and verse 20 the bible says but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost prayer builds the believer prayer can turn a weak you into a strong you prayer can turn a very timid canal you into a spiritual version of yourself men ought always to pray and not to faint number two i just want to touch it quickly so that we'll move to the other one making requests and obtaining promises this is the second assignment of prayer from scripture for making requests and obtaining promises every time you want to make requests and you want to obtain promises the platform for making this happen is prayer philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god making requests and obtaining promises number three very quickly the third assignment of prayer in your life is for spiritual legislation what is spiritual legislation decrees creating possibilities in the place of prayer decrees creating possibilities job 22 and verse 28 please give it to us quickly job 22 and verse 28 thou shall also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon your ways it, you shall decree a thing it happens in the place of prayer numbers 14 28 numbers 14 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in mine ears so will i do unto you not just as as much as you desire if you speak in my ears i will do it just like you have said it making decrees obtaining promises then spiritual legislation and then number four warfare and intercession the last dimension and jurisdiction of prayer in the life of the believer is for warfare and intercession ezekiel 22 from verse 29 to 31 very quickly ezekiel 22 the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy yea they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully 30 and i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it he said but i found none as a result 31 he says therefore i have poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way i have recompensed on their head saith the lord these are the four dimensions of prayer i've done this teaching i'm i'm, I'm reminding you for this series that if you want to gain mastery in this kingdom you must understand prayer you must understand prayer men ought always to pray and not to faint and that at any point you pray you are doing one 
or more or all of these four things engaging in that which makes for your spiritual development obtaining promises is like cashing a check in the realm of the spirit in the place of prayer number three making decrees and establishing realities in your life number four engaging the ministry of warfare and intercession at any point you go to pray these are the things that are captured in the prayer life of a believer unfortunately please look up many believers do not pray not for transformation not as a platform to obtain requests and make petitions not even to make decrees over their lives maybe they do a bit of it in church and largely most believers do not engage in the ministry of warfare and intercession no wonder the life of many believers remain defeated in spite of the fact that they are zealous for God. They love God with all their hearts, but they continue to find out that nothing in their lives is a capture of the grace, the wisdom, the power of God. You must tonight make up your mind that for to honor my desire to strive and to rise to the point of mastery, I must engage the ministry of prayer as a lifestyle as a lifestyle prayer as a lifestyle not a strategy for disaster management prayer as a lifestyle for most people conditions have to provoke you to pray a negative report and you quickly come to pray and satan knowing that when he wants to attack you he will not make the thing look so bad because it will call for emergency and you go and pray so he will allow gradually gradually until your prayer life goes cold and he will attack you in one day and you will be surprised 